Pat Damon has certainly played in some well-known movies like Jason Bourne and Oppenheimer, but the movie he played in from 2013 called Elysium is certainly his most interesting movie. This movie showcases how the future may look like where the rich live isolated for themselves, while the rest are just left for themselves to live in awful conditions. To change all this, Max tries to get a ticket to Elysium, and you can describe him as a rogue citizen that the rich elite want to stop at all costs. In itself, the movie is very interesting, and while nobody knows how 2154 might look like, there's a high reason to believe that technology will become more and more advanced. The movie also looks like a very futuristic version, with all these robots making it look even more advanced than, for example, in the show Altered Carbon. Though, of course, here you see a very different technology on display. With all these droids, and you just see the future where everything is automized. That's why also this movie, even 10 years after it was released, has become even more relevant in 2023, which is probably the first year in a long time when technology has found a new step with all the AIs and how we might see negative and positive consequences of it. But back to the movie. The city Elysium in this movie looks highly futuristic, highly advanced, and visually, it is just an extremely satisfying movie to watch. Someone might be impressed with the whistles in Rebel Moon, but they are far from the quality in this movie, which is one of the coolest sci-fi movies out there. Matt Damon also does his role quite well here as this rebel citizen that wants to have change in an unfair world. Of course, it might not be the most original story, but it works as he also is backed by a decent cast. Actually, both William Fitzner, Diego Luna, Alice Braga and Jodie Foster do play good characters in the movie. This movie also shows how to do it right in terms of female characters. They are not there just to fill a quota, which is the case in many movies these days. Maybe also in Rebel Moon, because traditionally the lead character there will perhaps be a man rather than a woman. My point is both Alice Braga and especially Jodie Foster, which the way I see it is one of the best female actors, but they both do credible roles in this movie. That is also something that makes this movie enjoyable to watch, as you feel the actors are more handpicked for the roles they are playing in this one. On the plus side, the movie also takes a more turn towards action than more traditional sci-fi movies like for example Passengers. It is not as action-packed as for example Upgrade, but at times there is a heavy amount of action and excitement all around in the movie, which makes it quite thrilling to watch. That is also quite rare that you do get a decent sci-fi movie that don't rather take a heavy turn towards action or just stays within the concept like for example Finch. I believe the balance is struck quite good in this movie where you can live yourself into a world of how the future might look like but be entertained at the same time. For me personally, this is a 7 out of 10.